by 2023, 5% of Dubai taxis fleet will be converted into self-driving cabs, the Roads and Transport Authority RTA said on Saturday. The RTA recently signed a partnership agreement with General Motors-backed Cruise to run driverless taxis and shared transport service in Dubai, rendering it the first city outside the US to operate such vehicles. According to the pact, the RTA is completing all preparations for the launch of self-driving taxis in 2023 with a limited number of vehicles. The number of vehicles in operation will be scaled up gradually to reach 4,000 self-driving taxis by 2030. Matar Mohamed Altair, Director General, Chairman of the Board of Executive Directors of RTA, revealed the Dubai Taxi Corporation's DTC Strategic Plan 2021-2023 which aims to overhaul the Dubai taxi sector by employing artificial intelligence and smart systems. The process requires increasing the fleet of taxis and limos to match the rapid growth seen by the Emirate and step up the integration of transportation means. The ultimate goal of these efforts is to ease the mobility of mass transit riders to their final destinations, especially Expo 2020 visitors, he said. The plan also aims to convert 5% of the taxi fleet into autonomous vehicles by 2023 and increase the percentage of environmentally friendly vehicles to 56%. The plan sets a target of pushing customer satisfaction rating of taxi service to 90%, school bus service to 93%, driver's happiness index to 84%, and employees' happiness index to 89% by 2023. As for operations, the plan provides for improving operations management systems and safety specifications. DTC is seeking to raise the ratio of revenue mileage from 49% to 53% by 2023, maintain the operational efficiency of taxis and limousines in the range of 90%, and reduce the rate of carbon dioxide emissions. If you enjoy information and other programs we offer for free to you at the Love Dictionary TV, please help us share and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified as soon as we post a new interesting video. Thanks for watching. Pros are seeing, that's a visualization of what the sensors on top of the car are seeing in real time. So the radar, lidar, and cameras are all combining to identify what is other cars on the road, what's pedestrians, what is a stationary object, and seeing things up to 250 meters away in every direction. So things six, seven cars away were on the iPad that I couldn't even see in real life out the windows. So there are some red paths, and when we start driving, you're gonna see some green paths. And basically what I'm seeing here is it's evaluating what's currently happening on the road and what's about to happen. Red paths, no good. Green paths, good. And it takes the green path and has a predetermined destination. We're in a left turning lane, so you can see way up ahead where it wants to go, and it's just gonna follow where it can. Based on the cars around us, you can't really merge right now, so those paths are red, but it has a green path, and it has a bunch of other possible paths to take if it wants to switch it up. But right now, it's all green. And the best part is the reaction from other people on the road was pretty great. There's people pulling out their phones to record the driverless car. People kind of stare a little bit at stoplights when they realize what's going on. And apparently Las Vegas cops think it's pretty funny too. But overall, the 15 minutes we spent in this car were a lot of fun. I learned a lot just looking at these iPads and what they were seeing as the car drove around. And this gave me a sort of an optimism for the future of self-driving tech.